And it's another aspect of yourself you begin to see. Or um, I go in the kitchen and sometimes maybe I'm somewhere at the friends or in a situation there isn't much food in the refrigerator or whatever. But, you know, we got a little bit of this and that. And I just go open up different cabinets in the, in the kitchen and I find things. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I start cooking. And all of a sudden, this amazing dish will come out. And uh, it's surprising. Like, how in the world did you come up with this? With very little material. But this other, the chef, Zaratustra, will come out. And, yeah, it, it's not like I I'm like to be cooking all the time and spend a lot of time in the kitchen doing that. But you just get to see these, if you're not defining yourself and limiting yourself to one thing, that I am only this, and that's all it is. If you open yourself and expand your boundaries, then you allow your multidimensional self to be free and expresses itself. I've experienced that with video making, uh, being in front of the camera. Um, and in past few years, I experienced with being in a um, music studio when we, Baram G and I, we created uh, my first um, album, uh, You Are Who You're Looking For, which I will be putting it out soon. I uh, got to experience and observe myself that all of a sudden, how much I really enjoyed being in a music studio and uh, being a part of the whole process and wanting to create uh, and never thought about this uh, because I didn't grow up with uh, musical instruments. I didn't grow up in an environment that I was not encouraged to sing or, or use any kind of musical instruments. Um, it just was never part of my childhood. Um, uh, thing or being in that sort of environment and then all of a sudden uh, I get exposed to it and this other part comes out so um, if you truly look back at yourself look back at your life at different stages that you grew up and be open with an open mind, you begin to discover that there's all these different aspects of yourself that are that you're made out of. From the world that you're perceiving, the physical world, to the inner world, inner realms. that you begin to discover your multidimensionality of your own self, which is very, very exciting, very enlightening, and it opens up um, infinite possibilities because by the recognition of this aspect, this part of yourself, by recognizing it, and acknowledging it, you will be, it will bring tremendous amount of excitement in your life. I don't care at what age you are. All of a sudden, it will open this world that, wow, um, I want to learn a new language. I want to learn a new craft, well, whatever that is 
or want to develop something I already know, but take it to the next level. So you have opened the gateway to possibilities of all these multidimensional uh, self, uh, multidimensionality part of yourself. All the things that you're capable of doing. And maybe you've done it and then you shut yourself down and now you're opening up to it again. Or maybe you've never done it, but they're all there. And you're opening yourself to it. Anybody has any questions? You can either write it on the chat box or you can raise your hand. Um, I'll be happy to unmute you. I'll tell you another thing is like, it, it has happened to me. Um, like there, there has been different periods that it looks like a gateway, something has opened up and all of a sudden it's like information is pouring in, pouring in, like words are pouring in. And I've been writing poetry, um, literature, words of wisdom, and they just come out and you start writing. And that's how basically I created um, Lightning Notes of Zarathustra. Um, that's how it was born. I started to write things on Facebook as spiritual quotes uh, every day, every other day, sharing with people but it was just coming from my heart. And then, uh, you know, I had maybe 40 or 50 writings, and uh, uh, one of my fans through Facebook contacted me, and she uh, mentioned she wanted to have lunch together, so we meet for lunch, and she, she, she's a, a children's, uh, she's an author of children's books, and uh, she said, Zarathustra, you realize uh, that you have enough writings that you can make a book out of it. And at that point, I had not even considered that. And I didn't even think about it. So I, you know, go back home, open up the computer and go through all my writings in Facebook. And I realized I have like 48, 49 writings. And uh, anyway, I, brought, I wrote, uh, when I printed uh, Lightning Notes of Zarathustra, I ended up with 99 writings. So, uh, but it was like, wow, I have enough content that I can put it to print. So all of a sudden, um, a book is being born. And so you have it here. Lighting notes of Zarathustra. So that this is what I'm talking about being a multidimensional um, being, and you're capable, and you do that already of wearing different hats, and you pick up a, a different persona in different situations in your life. But it's already built inside you and you've done it. And you're still doing it. It's just bringing the awareness to it and, and recognizing it. <laughs> 